Ultimate Masters 2006 was one of the best dual simulators that was available back in the day. But instead of being known for this, it's widely synonymous with its infamous bug, the uncompletable challenge, Huge Revolution. This bug caused major waves as more and more consumers at the time discovered that the challenge could never be completed and the player would never be able to reach 100% overall completion status. Knowing this, there's always been an eerie feeling even entering this challenge, knowing that you're bound for failure no matter what you do. But while I've been away, I've been in the lab and have literally found the formula needed to finally complete this challenge. This will allow us to get that coveted blue check mark, reach 100%, achieve the highest dual rank, and unlock the last forbidden pack. And this means, my friends, that the ultimate master's revolution is finally upon us. I'll include a reference of where to get the patch ROM down below, but just in case you've got a ROM and a save file that you're already attached to, I'm going to show you how to patch the game yourself in a few simple steps to save you some hassle. We're first going to need a hex editor of some kind, and I'm going to use Sinus Hex Editor from romhacking.net just because I'm pretty comfortable with it, and this is going to lay out all the memory in one byte hex segments. This is also the program I used on my top secret deck video, so you can find some neat information in this ROM if you look long enough. However, to patch the huge revolution challenge, all you need to do is right click, go to, and type in 20FC2. This will bring you to this particular byte of data, and you don't need to delete or copy and paste. All you need to do is click it and type in 8B. Now all you need to do is click save. You see this simple fix is all that was making the game unable to find the reward it's supposed to give you. You can then boot it back up like normal and complete the challenge no problems at all. And so at this point, you might be asking, that was really simple and a pretty big mistake for a company to make. I mean, multiple people dropped the ball for this one to land all the way to the market in the Japanese, English, and PAL versions of the game. So what was making it wrong in the first place and what did we even fix? Well, to understand that, I first need to introduce you to a game I've never talked about on this channel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour for the Nintendo DS. This was released five months before Ultimate Masters, and while they don't have many similarities on the surface, Ultimate Masters borrows a decent amount of code from this unlikely DS predecessor. You see, in Nightmare Troubadour, you would receive an extra DP reward at the end of normal duels by activating certain special cards that are usually pretty hard to activate. And you might even recognize some of these DP bonus cards. For example, Gate Guardian, Dark Sage, Ojama Delta Hurricane, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, Dark Scorpion Combination. In fact, many of these cards would go on to make an appearance in theme duels in Ultimate Masters by simply repurposing their code from this game. There are even defunct references to some of the Nightmare Troubadour bonus cards that didn't end up getting a theme duel, like Yujo Friendship. Blasting the Ruins, and Fu Rin Kazan being in Ultimate Masters, but ultimately not working because of the way their code was modified, although this might give the game potential to add in some of these challenges in the future. But aside from these cards, Ultimate Masters did include some brand new card challenges like Victory Dragon, The Three Sacred Beast, VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon, and also Huge Revolution. And to implement these challenges, the developers would modify some of these extra bonus cards that weren't going to get a theme duel anyways to have them work with the new cards in this game. And while they did modify a challenge to check for huge revolution as it should, they unfortunately forgot to change the challenge identifier so that the game would be able to find it. 
Instead, the challenge identifier would remain a link to its previously checked card from Nightmare Troubadour. And this card, go ahead and put your guess in the comments, was Megaton Magical Cannon. You see, this is where our challenge data was hiding all along. So would this epic card be the key to 100%ing this game on a vanilla version of the ROM? Well, no. You see, while the game does store that you played this card, the game is looking for the challenge for Huge Revolution, and even if you play both cards and try to complete the duel, the game still won't be able to find it. It literally just can't find it. It's hidden behind a value that it never checks. So unfortunately, this would lock an unmodified version of this game to 99% forever. And while it would have been a great oversight to cap off a 100% glitch playthrough, I definitely consider this patch version of the ROM to be a big win for the people, like freedom of information type big. So I hope you like the taste of victory, because as I said before, this is just the start of the revolution, so do expect more things in this game to be changed in the future. And I hope you stick around to see those changes and enjoy this little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! video game history story time. If you have any ideas of changes to make, or suggestions of games to play, not Master Duel, be sure to leave it in the comments, and especially let me know if you guessed Megaton Magical Cannon earlier as the mystery card, as you will receive a special reward after we check you for Millennium Eyes and Excessive Perfume. I'll be here preparing for our next battle, so in the meantime, be sure to stay close and stay clean, comrades.